Welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here. This episode is sponsored by Game Pass, and Game Pass has PC games. In fact, they've now got over a hundred of them. Epic games that you can play, and you can get started with your first month for only a dollar by going to my link in the description down below. Now, recently I got a phone call from fellow YouTuber Jesse Cox. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Alec. I've come to you now with a task that is, to me, the most important thing in my life. I was sent a giant, giant stone slab from PC Game Pass for Total War Warhammer 3, and inside of it is loot, and I want that loot. How are you gonna get in? What can I do for you? Well, I'm gonna need you to make me something big, beefy to bash it. Like a, one of the ogre bosses, like an ogre tyrant would use, like a giant tyrant hammer. I love it. I can do it, but when do you need it? Next week. Now with some digging, we found this awesome looking hammer from Total War Warhammer 3. We also got some measurements for how big it needs to be to be accurate, and it is ridiculous. If we make this out of solid steel, it's gonna weigh 150 pounds. And so in order to make it hollow, I've got some parts laser cut out from steel and brass. All the material has now arrived, and because I'm on such a tight timeline, the first thing that I wanna do is find out how on earth I'm gonna be joining together these brass parts, because that is gonna be the most difficult part of this project. I went ahead and cut up some flat bar to start experimenting with silver soldering it together. But unfortunately, it was failure after failure after failure. Oh no! I couldn't get the silver solder to flow without the brass melting, so I moved on to trying my solder in a syringe that is a jewelry solder, which actually worked fantastically. It flowed the whole way through and left us with a really strong joint. The trouble is, when we got our brass parts out, we mitered the angles on the 2x48 belt grinder. We set it up on the plate that it's to be soldered to. We found that there was no way to fixture it and get the solder to work. So I wanted to see can I TIG weld brass? Brass to brass, I couldn't get it to TIG weld. But using this bronze filler rod, I could get a beautiful joint that held it together, which is gonna be perfect for fixturing it during the soldering. So now we're going to get these pieces together and get some successful joints. Oh boy. So it was all going great until it wasn't. Oh my god, that is so strong. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Jamie. The soldering along that joint is so strong that I bent the brass trying to break it. Because I'm trying to break it so I can clean it up and put it back on, but I can't break it to clean it up and put it back on. To be fair, Jamie, maybe I just bend it back and it'll be strong enough because I can't break it now. is difficult. How is it possible that this bronze filler that I TIG welded with is just letting this fall off? How did all of the solder miraculously stop gripping at the exact same time? Oof. Falls off. I don't know. This is really bloody difficult. Okay, so we've got the bulk of our brass assembly assembled. But our final piece is this. Right now, it's a frowny face or a handlebar mustache. We plan to turn it not into a smiley face, but into the cone that is going to hold the wooden spike that makes up the back end of this diabolical hammer.
having decided that actually the success rate of soldering was becoming less and less, we TIG welded on that cone. I've now got it polished up and we get to move on to a material that I actually know how to work just a little bit better. We're gonna work with some steel. We need to take a bunch of these triangles and make a bunch of pyramids for the face of this hammer. I've now got teeth, and if you've got them too, Game Pass has PC games for you to get them sunk in too. Now we can probably get an idea of the scale of this thing. Look at that, it's massive. We have got a front, we've got a back, and we would be ready to assemble the plates for the actual body of it if it weren't for the fact that we need to texture these things. We want it to look rough, weathered, as if it's been through battle for millennia. And so we're gonna light the forge and make some texture. The bulk of the hammerhead is welded together. It sounds amazing, it looks amazing. We're gonna take a break from welding fumes to get this massive hunk of brass in the lathe. We need to make a collar that goes and affixes between the steel hammerhead and the hammer handle shaft. So we get to make ourselves some pretty brass chips in the lathe. It has been a busy weekend. All these parts are now textured, patinaed, and looking quite battle-worn. The handle is gonna need a rivet that goes through this brass section. We need a bunch of decorative rivets on this. And then, of course, our last critical part of this whole thing is going to be the brass strapping that needs to go across the steel. We still have a lot of work to do, and I need to get this done today.
At last, the home straight is upon us. This thing is heavy, and we have our brass strapping all over the thing. It's textured and battle-worn, but it doesn't match the color of this little rear cap, so we're gonna fix that. And with this patina-ing, the final bolt's going in place to put it together, and wrapping the handle in some rustic-looking tape, we are going to be done. Last, this absolute beast is finished. I have to get this thing packaged up, shipped off to America, and Jesse, I hope that this fits your requirements perfectly. It is heavy, it is big, and it is beautiful. I'm thrilled to have made it. I'm gonna put it down now though. And please everybody, don't forget about today's sponsor because Game Pass has PC games. In fact, they've got over a hundred quality titles like Total War, Warhammer 3. They got new stuff being added all the time. And if you sign up at my link in the description below, you will get your first month for just a dollar. Let's get this thing packaged up. Please everybody, don't forget to go check out Jesse's video where he unboxes this thing and really puts it to the test.